वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू इनेबल ए एम टी सेफ एस आर थ्री फ्रेम जनरेशन टेक फॉर एब्सोल्यूटली फ्रेम फोर्स आर आइज एन फाइव आई एल बी राइन द गेम ऑन माई रॉग एलेव आई हैव द सेट वन एक्सट्रीम वेरियंट ऑफ दिस डिवाइस विल बी इनेबलिंग फ्रेम जनरेशन यूजिंग अ प्रोग्राम कॉल डी एल एस एस इनेबल आई एल यूज इट्स बीटा बिल्ड यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फॉर फ्री फ्रॉम गेट अप पेज आई गिव इट्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डी एल एस एस इनेबल वर्क ऑन एनी जी पी वेल इट्स ऑम एंटेल एंड वीडिया और एम डी इट डज नॉट मैटर दिस बिल्ड सपोर्ट्स एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन फ्रेम जनरेशन इट ऑल्सो गिवस एस द ऑप्शन टू सिलेक्ट आइडर एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट जीरो और एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन आई शो यू द प्रोसेस जिस क्लिक ऑन दिस ई एक्स लिंक टू डाउनलोड द बिल्ड आई एल ऑल्सो रन द गेम यूजिंग एल एस एफ जी वर्जन टू पॉइंट टू फ्रेम जनरेशन टेक्निक यूनिवर्सल फ्रेम जनरेटर वर्कस ऑन एन एन जी पी यू जस्ट लाइक एफ एस आर थ्री इंक्लूडेड विद पेड एप्लीकेशन कॉल लॉसलेस स्केलिंग दैट सेल्स ऑन स्ट्रीम स्टॉफ और अम सेवन यू एस डॉलर्स फर्स्ट आई शो यू टी एल एस एस इनेबलर सेटअप ओपन द गेम्स इंस्टॉल डायरेक्टरी आई ऑन द पी सी गेम पास वर्जन ऑफ फोर्स आर आइजन फाइव क्लिक ऑन द थ्री डॉट्स बिलो इट्स बॉक्स आर्ट मैनेज फाइल्स गेम साइज इज अराउंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी सिक्स जी बी ओ माई गॉड ब्राउज गेम्स फोल्डर फोर्स आर आइजन फाइव ओपन कंटेंट फोल्डर दिस इज द डायरेक्टरी वे यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल डी एल एस एस इनेबल कॉपी द डायरेक्टरी फॉर्म है गो टू द डाउनलोड्स डायरेक्टरी रन द सेटअप फाइल कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू डी एल एस एस इनेबल देर इट इज रीटा इलेवन बिल्ड I accept. Next, paste the games directory here. Next, first option checked. Install as a version dot pll file. Check this option enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Next, install. Wait for the process to complete. Uncheck this box. Finish. That's it. Go back to the games directory where you install DLSS enabler. Now look for nvngx dot ini file. There it is. Open it. Under Frame Generation setting, you'll find this line of text: Generator equal to Auto. Just change it to FSR 3.1. This will load FSR 3.1. If you want to use FSR 3.0, just type FSR 3.0. File, Save, Close it. Need to run this registry file in order to get the game working using DLSS Enabler. Execute it. Yes. Okay. My life is running on BIOS version 339. I've installed the latest official GPU driver. For this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Launch the game. We'll be using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. This prompt will pop up. Unable to detect graphics driver version. Click on ignore warning. Add the lens settings for the game. Pre-sync enabled, V-sync enabled, and delay setting enabled. In-game settings. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Resolution 720p. Full screen mode enabled. Motion blur disabled. MSAA disabled. Yeah, we have access to DLSS. I'll just use DLA. Won't be using any upscaler. Frame generation off. That's it. Save. I'm using the high preset, but I have set the motion blur quality to low. This is why it's showing the preset as custom. Also disable ray tracing. Save. I didn't use any upscaler in order to avoid any frame generation related artifacts. Cloyed area. FPS is close to 75. Good performance on ROG Ally even without using any frame generation technique. Not observing any graphical artifact. I'll just enable frame generation now. Video settings. DLA is basically FSR native anti-lagging. On. Back to the game. FPS increased. <laughs> Around 120. Movement of car looks so smooth. Let me gain some speed. I should do that, guy. Observe the car's bumper. Okay, there are some graphical artifacts. I can also observe a screen tearing like effect on the left, bottom, and right edges of the display. Common FSR three. Related artifact. 
it's present even in cyberpunk 2077 when we are driving the cars at high speeds in that game you are able to fix this issue using some other mods i'm not aware of any such mods for this game but really impressed by the performance fps almost a big pun almost always stays above 100 see double image on the bottom edge of the display these artifacts will become more aggressive when you enable upscaler almost reach my destination there you go start the event cutscenes in this game run at 30 fps start the event my vehicle i'll be chasing this aeroplane excellent performance even in this event screen tearing effect this is done in order to prevent the games or elements from flickering slow motion effect big open area so excellent performance with FSR but some graphical artifacts are present now I'll be testing LSFG first disable DLSS everything off I'll just enable MSA two times using these LSFG settings LSFG version 2.2 x2 frame generation mode will try to double the FPS from 60 to 120 not using any of lossless scaling subscaling algorithms clip cursor setting enabled sync mode default max frame latency 2 draw fps setting enabled capture api txgi settings start as administrator setting checked control alt plus s key other hotkey for enabling lsfg minimize the app keep it running in the background just use rtss to cap the fps at 60 launch the game Internal in settings, vSync enabled, vSync set to off unless application specifies, anti lag setting enabled. Using the same settings as before, full screen mode on, vSync off, MSA two times, DLSS disabled, save, high graphics preset. Load the same sequence, here we are getting 60 FPS. This is the game running without LSFG Input response No graphical artifacts I'll just enable LSFG now FPS with frame generation on 120 Base FPS is still around 60 Not observing any graphical artifacts around the vehicle Very smooth experience Okay, there is a strip of carbon textures around the bottom edge of the display. Difficult to observe this. I'll be honest guys. It's very difficult to tell the difference between LSFG on and off. But it's not making the game's performance worse than before with LSFG off. So no harm in enabling LSFG. Almost hitting the GP bottleneck. Fifty six to sixty FPS. Quickly start the event. Cuts in running at sixty FPS with LSMG. I'll just cap the game's FPS to thirty. Disable LSFG for the time being. Yeah, now the gameplay is a bit choppy. Should be able to observe the effect of LSFG. Enable it. Okay, 
back to the game yeah gameplay has become smoother lsfg definitely works easy way to test it so in this game guys yeah i would recommend lsfg over fsr 3.1 due to the less graphical artifacts even when fps beg your pardon even when the base fps is close to 30 lsfg works very nicely does not produce any noticeable graphical artifacts so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day